Well, let's take you live to Missouri now. This is after the shooting at the Kansas City Chiefs Victory Parade. It happened 10 um, minutes after that parade had concluded. It was a chaotic scene. The last confirmation we had is that one person has been killed, up to 15 others injured. Let's listen in. Suspects and others, please call the police. If you're looking for other information, we'll try to continue to give you regular updates. I'll say this final thing and then we'll come back for questions at the end. Uh, today was tragic for everyone who was part of it. I had the chance to talk to my wife just a moment ago who said we became part of a statistic of too many Americans. Those who have experienced or been part of or connected to a mass shooting. That is something that I hope we all recognize is highly problematic for all of us. I continue to commend our police officers, our firefighters and others who were there to respond instantly but we also need to figure out a way to make sure that things like this stop happening in our country. With that, I turn it over to the Chief of Police, Stacey Graves. Thank you. I just want to echo um, the mayor's thoughts and his prayers and also to um, acknowledge that not only the, the victims who were actually hit by gunfire, but there are a lot more people who are going to be forever impacted by, by what happened here today. Um, you know, as, as people were running, you know, a lot of us law enforcement who were, who were running towards the danger um, also guided those who were in, um, in fear of their lives. And that's something to be said of, of how impactful today's event truly was. Um, again, we have confirmed there is uh, one deceased person. Our gunshot wound total has went up to 22 and Chief Grundison will provide a little bit more context to that. Um, right now we're still working on a, a, a total of number of victims. This is still an active investigation. Um, I do want to comment on the question that I got earlier about a video of um, some fans tackling someone. We do have three persons detained and under investigation for today's incident. We are working to determine if one of the three are, are the one that was in that video uh, where, where fans assisted police. Um, our investigators are working with all of the surviving victims to connect them with loved ones. We are also working to identify our deceased victim so we can notify their family as soon as possible. We are also in the process of staffing a centralized phone number. The centralized phone number will be for those who are victims, witnesses, and if anyone has video or any information about what led up to what happened here today. Um, again, we are continuously receiving information uh, minute by minute, which is part of the delay of us coming down here.